Disney's Pop Century Resort falls into the value category here at the Walt Disney World Resort. So that means it's one of the most affordable resorts here. Prices range from about $154 per night all the way up to under, just under $400 per night, depending on the time of year and the type of room that you're looking at. Now we've gone into all of this in great detail in previous videos, so I'll go ahead and link those in the description box down below. But like I said, we're focusing on transportation today, so let's talk a little bit about what you need to know in terms of getting around from Disney's Pop Century. So there are a couple different types of Disney transportation that you can take from this resort. The first is going to be the bus. Now the buses are available from Classic Hall. This is the main area of this resort. That's where you're gonna do your shopping, your dining. You can also check in over there. It's the lobby as well. So this is where you're gonna catch the bus and the bus is going to get you to Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. Now you might be wondering, well, what about the other two theme parks? And for that, you're gonna make your way over to the Disney Skyliner. The Disney Skyliner is the second mode of transportation here at this resort. And honestly, people love the Disney Skyliner. Now we've talked a lot about it in the past. Again, more videos in the description down below, but it is a gondola style mode of transportation. It's continuously moving. It is enclosed. It is high up off the ground. So it's not gonna be perfect for everybody, but it does get you where you wanna go relatively quickly. Now the Disney Skyliner is gonna get you to Epcot, it's also gonna get you to Hollywood Studios, but you have many more options in terms of what you can explore with the Disney Skyliner if you know where to look. So of course, you have the ability to get over to Caribbean Beach, which also gives you access to Disney's Riviera Resort. Both of those resorts have some great dining options. Disney's Caribbean Beach has a lot of area to just wander around and kind of explore some great playgrounds over there. And of course, when you take the Skyliner over to Epcot, you're just a short walk away from those Epcot area resorts. And there's quite a bit to explore over there as well. Lots of dining, lots of entertainment over at the boardwalk. And don't forget, there's also the Swan Dolphin and Swan Reserve, some of which have some amazing dining options. I haven't tried them myself, but I've heard really good things. So we'll have to make our way over there. We're saving that for another day. Now, while these are your two free modes of transportation here at Disney's Pop Century, they are your Disney transportation options, there are other options to get around. So of course, if you are driving, you can definitely park here. There's plenty of parking around the resort located near every different decade in this resort. You can also rent a car and park here as well. You can also go the route of using a rideshare service. This is going to be ideal for people who have budgeted for that rideshare, but also for for people who don't necessarily want to take the Disney Skyliner to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, taking a rideshare can be an alternative. Of course, it does come at an additional cost, so that's important to keep in mind, but it is available to you. Now, rideshares can be a little bit tricky. Not everyone is comfortable getting in a stranger's car when they're far from home, and that's where Disney's minivans come into play. Now, this also operates like a rideshare service. It is through Lyft, but the vehicles are Disney vehicles. They're really cute actually and they also are driven by Disney cast members so that can be a little extra security for you and your family they also have some additional amenities in those minivans they do come at a higher price point but it's important to know that those options are available to you if you're looking for an alternative mode of transportation finally we have to talk about being able to walk where you want to go now you can't walk to any of the four theme parks or the water parks or Disney Springs from this resort however you can walk over to our of animation and that's just a quick walk across hourglass lake there are a few different ways you can get there there's like this nice path that goes around the lake there are some fun little details and fun facts that you can read as you go and that gives you access to a second resort now of course you can't swim in the pools over there because that is designated for resort guests but you can absolutely go enjoy the shade enjoy the ambiance enjoy the music and just hang out at that resort you have additional options in terms terms of dining if you head to that resort. You also have a really great playground over there. So it's another option that's available to you within walking distance. And so I wanted to list that as a, a way to get around here in the transportation discussion. Now, of course, not every mode of transportation is going to be ideal for everyone, specifically the Disney Skyliner. Like I said, we've talked more about that in the past. So you can go check that out in the video that I've linked in the description box down below. I do want to say though that you have access if you are taking the Disney Disney Skyliner to a stationary vehicle. So 
just really quick. The Skyliner is continuously moving, but if you're in a wheelchair, ECV, or have mobility issues, you do have access to a stationary Skyliner vehicle where you can load and unload on and off that vehicle without having to rush or worry about keeping up with the vehicle. Although it does move really slowly, it's definitely an option for those of you who don't have the ability to jump on while it's moving. So you don't have to worry about that if that is a concern of yours. Again, if you're in a wheelchair, you're in an ECV, you have some sort of challenge with getting on that vehicle, you do have options available to you. The bus is also going to offer you options in terms of getting your wheelchair or ECV on that bus. We can talk more about that some other time, but it's important that I make note that that is available to you if you are going to be taking the bus. So there's no need to worry about accessibility you're good to go. Of course, like I said, if you're interested in any more information about this, go ahead and check the description box down below. I have information about the Skyliner, the resort itself, as well as information about the Disney buses, especially how to figure out the bus schedule. This is a new video that we recently posted on the channel, so make sure that you check that out so that you have all the information that you're looking for during your next Disney vacation. But that's about all for this discussion. Thanks for hanging out with me and chatting with me about this. Of course, if you have any additional questions about transportation around Pop Century or anywhere else at the Walt Disney World Resort. I'd love to hear what they are in the comments down below. Leave them there. I'll be happy to respond to each and every one of you. I'll also be sure to check out those options and share them with you so that you have a stress-free and comfortable trip when visiting Walt Disney World. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.